NVIDIA RTX 3060 Ti performance like leaked. Wow, this Sony Xperia 5 Mark II is definitely out to beat iPhone 12. Okay, anyway, don't go anywhere. This is MLM. a new game bundle for purchases on selected Ryzen 5000 series CPUs from now until 31st December 2020. Not only will you get a copy of Far Cry 6, you also get a special in-game AMD branded hat and t-shirt. Check the link in the description to redeem your code. While supplies last, so hurry! Looking for a new graphics card but even the RTX 3070 is out of your budget? Well, according to videocards.com, we have some new information regarding the RTX 3060 Ti which will probably be announced soon on December 2nd. The RTS 3060 Ti will run a GA104-200 which is a slightly cut down version of the GA104-300 found in the RTX 3070. Also, it will have an 8GB of GDDR6 memory on a 256-bit bus and a 14GB per second memory speed identical to the RTX 3070. Here is the Founders Edition card obtained by videocards.com and it looks like it will have the same cooler design as the RTX 3070 but it will only have 4864 4 CUDA cores instead of 5888 that the RTX 3070 has. But wait, here's the juicy part. Apparently, one of the slides that will be used for NVIDIA's official announcement has been leaked. The leaked slide shows the RTX 3060 Ti beating the RTX 2080 Super in basically every application. In case you forgot, the 2080 Super was launched at 3288 ringgit, while the 3060 Ti is expected to be priced under 2000 ringgit. So if you don't have a bangsa one budget for a new graphics card, then you can consider looking at the 3060 Ti. We could have the specs and official numbers by NVIDIA by next week's episode. So if you missed the launch this week, stay tuned for the next MLM. Remember when I covered on Sony's comeback phone Xperia 5 Mark II? Well, I have good news and bad news. Bad news is that it is supposed to launch next month, but then it is delayed until next year January. Good news is, if you are thinking of getting yourself the iPhone 12 but don't want to spend so much on average specs, then this Xperia 5 Mark II may be the perfect phone for you. Here's why. The Xperia 5 Mark II comes with Snapdragon 865, a 6.1-inch OLED display that supports up to 120Hz refresh rate and 240Hz touch sampling rate as well as 8GB of RAM and 256GB of internal storage option. As for the iPhone 12, Apple introduced the A14 chip in all models which is 50% faster than the fastest competing smartphone chips wall. All models also feature Super Retina XDR OLED displays and can support 5G. So, what killer features does the Xperia 5 Mark II has that iPhone 12 doesn't? As Sony claimed, the phone has technology borrowed from Sony's Alpha DSLR series. It is also the first phone in the world with the first 4K HDR 120fps video recording mode which can can go up to 5 times slow motion. Another area that Sony keeps highlighting proudly is the phone's ability to capture portrait and burst shots in continuous focus mode. Something that even the S20 Ultra cannot do. Number 2, display. The display on the Sony phone is pretty standard. 6.1 inch FHD plus HDR OLED panel and 120Hz refresh rate. Wow, iPhone, I'm so sorry but 60Hz is out liao. Even better, the Xperia 5 Mark II has 240Hz motion blur reduction feature and 240Hz response rate to taps on the screen which is great for mobile gamers who want clear graphics and responsive controls. If you don't like touch controls, you can easily connect your PS4 controller for a better gaming experience. Number 3, battery charging. Sadly, the Xperia 5 Mark II doesn't support wireless charging. It charges at a speed of 21 watts via USB-C cable and has a battery size of 4000 mAh. Eh, so small one. But what you can do is, it lets you power on the phone without charging the battery. So you can just plug it in and game on for long 
hours without facing the significant heat output that makes you feel like your hands are being cooked. Number 4, audio. Xperia 5 Mark II has stereo Dolby Atmos tuned front firing speakers and a 3.5mm headphone jack. These two features are actually very rare to find on modern flagship phones. So this is good news for users who care about great sound quality and do not own wireless headphones. You can now pre-order the phone on Sony's official website for 4,099 ringgit. If you have extra bucks to spend, to check out the pro version Xperia 1 Mark II, retailing at 4,900. 99 ringgit. Cyberjaya, Malaysia's smart city, is on its way to make history. Cyberview, who is in charge of developing the ecosystem in our city, is currently working on a master plan which leads down the future of our country's premier tech hub. This ecosystem will feature three key industries, smart mobility, smart healthcare, and digital creative. Recently, our government has approved the usage of Cyberjaya MyAV testing route. This route was designed and built for the development of self-driving vehicle projects. This marks a big progress in the development of smart mobility within the city. But we don't have self-driving cars yet, whoa. Well, the MyAV route isn't for public use lah. The route is actually for tech companies to test their self-driving cars in order to evaluate and rule out certain technologies that are not certified by local authorities. Roni Shah Mutafa, Cyberview's HOB head of business, confirmed in a webinar that they are currently in talks with a few potential players to bring in autonomous buses that can be tested and operated at a low cost in Cyberjaya. Now that MyAV has been approved by our government, you can spot signages along the route that indicates the starting and ending points. They also make a good reminder for citizens that there is a self-driving Proton Exora in the area. So please, look left, look right, look left and look right again just in case, you know. Oculus Quest 2 is a VR headset by Facebook that doesn't require a PC or a console to start. All you need to do is connect it to your smartphone and you're good to go. You can start playing games, watching live concerts, films, and even attending events from around the world. It features an IPS LCD display that supports 72Hz and runs on Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2. There are two memory options, 62 and 256 GB. Play area is up to 20 meter times 20 meter, which is pretty solid considering PSVR's play area is only 1.9 meter by 3 meter. More specs here. This headset just received a new update as Oculus Move made its worldwide debut. Oculus Move is an app that allows you to track your workout, calories you burn while using the headset, and how long you have been active for. While Oculus Move isn't out yet, the new update includes new features that will work great with Oculus Move. In order for you to achieve your fitness goals, you can now set your daily fitness goals in order to track your progress. Easily view your burned calories based on individual apps and activities like Beat Saber or even at a music festival. Another bump update comes to the Quest 2 is that it will now support 90 Hz across all platform software, so not only when you play games. Retailing at about 2400 ringgit on Lazada, will you consider buying this headset that supports a limited number of games? DBKL is in progress to go completely cashless, which means you'll never have to pay with physical coins or a physical touch and go card at the buyer Sydney booths anymore. Moving forward, drivers will only need to download these apps to pay for their parking. But if you are a touch and go e-wallet user, then you can pay for your parking directly from the app itself. On the home screen, tap on pay for parking now. Select your vehicle, then choose the area you're in. After you have keyed in your parking duration, the fee will be deducted from your e-wallet. How convenient! I hope to see this integration on Jompei and Boost soon. And as confirmed by DBKL, daily and monthly passes will be available after a system upgrade. I'm so glad that the pandemic is driving us into a cashless city. Something we should have long long time ago lor. Okay, comments time! Neil Cedric Yogi And yet, Android is still better Sure or not, the iPhone has little scanner oh. Wang Lin Sin I'm not falling into Apple gaming stuff, it just doesn't work for me Well, the reason why I really like Apple is because it is so minimal It doesn't have all those confusing controls, this and that You know, to get a certain task done This is the Asian version of Tech News on TechLinked Anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is very nice to hear, okay? I hope I can improve myself 
and bring better content to you guys. Now I teach you what happened to the hair. It looks a bit different. I don't know, my hair is always looking different. Right now, it looks slightly better because I just showered. <laughs> Muhammad Hasru, other car around Chari Mac untuk main game. Well, bro, let me tell you a story. Michelle Chen, when she was 18 years old, she started playing CSGO on a MacBook Pro. The old model, uh, the old, 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 old model. Yes, it worked well. Raja Arman Alif, I almost planned to save money and buy PS5 before watching this MLM episode. That is a lot of bad review. Whoa, for first generation. Exactly, so bro, I hope you can wait until next year, until the Pro Max comes out. PS5 Pro Max. Lazy Gamer 71. The only place I get all my device news love from South Africa. Wow. My followers are expanding from Singapore to Philippines to Vietnam and now even South Africa. I'm actually, I just pre-ordered PS5 a few weeks ago and now you make me worry, ho ho. Bro, is it too late to cancel? If you can cancel, you should. But if you cannot, huh? I hope you don't have all the major issues lah. Okay, so I guess that is all for today's comments time. Thank you so much for all the better comments, okay? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next episode. Remember, drink a lot of water, stay home if you can. And always, always, always remember to check out on your friends. A simple hi, how are you, will do. So I'll see you in the next MLM. Bye!